I don't know what happened to that other scheduled chat because I couldn't for some reason into the page. Sorry. Am I confusing you all? It's easy done. I'm easily confused myself. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm here. I am here. And it's freezing. I've got my coat dress on to keep me completely snuggled. Hi, Dana. I don't know what happened to that other scheduled stream because I couldn't... Um, I couldn't get in to say, you know, go. I don't know why. Um, but somebody else has been on my computer this morning, so maybe that's the reason. I don't know. How are you? Are you warm? I am very warm. <laughs> I wanted to talk a bit, actually, about... Good morning, Sue. How are you? Yeah, thank you. My Yorkies. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk a bit about my channel, actually, because um, I want to change gear a little bit because I think it's all getting a bit out of hand now and a bit monotonous with the same old booty beauty nonsense and... A lot of them are just working hand in glove to make money and it's it's like regurgitating the same old thing, you know, video after video and nothing new, really, at all. I'm all right, thank you, sir. Still worried about my son because he's still got that awful um, phlegmy cough in his chest and um, his partner took him to the Badger Clinic on... Thursday, I think, and they prescribed antibiotics, which are making my son sick. So last night he was bad and he also had nosebleeds. Um, so they ended up at the hospital again last night and um, they prescribed more antibiotics, which, you know, they can't get till this morning because the pharmacy was closed last night. So hopefully they'll help. But his lungs are clear, which is one good thing. His lungs are clear. He was dehydrated, though, and his blood pressure was elevated. Do you know, Dana, they are? And I wonder if it's because everybody's immune system has sort of been compromised because of what's gone on with COVID, you know, with the mask wearing and the keeping out, you know, not socialising with people and keeping out of public company, etc. It's it's awful. So I'm just worried about my son, basically. I'm, I'm myself, I'm fine. But, you know, with kids, you'd rather it was yourself that was sick and not them. Hello, Susan. Hi, Dan. Happy Saturday, love. I bet your fish don't feel the cold. They're not tropical fish, are they? Are they? My son had a, a he had a a sad experience with the tropical fish when the something went wrong with the heater, and a lot of them died, which was which was awful. Hello, Cheryl. How are you? I bet you're nice and warm. I'm nice and warm. I'm not complaining. Look at me. I'm all snuggled up. Four are tropical and one are co one's cold. Well, I didn't know you had that many. We had, we had maximum, we had two, two tanks. Hello, Ravishing. Much love. What's it like in Wales? I actually made a comment to somebody about Wales a few months ago and it was on... Um, Twitter, I think. Busy are you, Cheryl? Hello, Nessa. And this comment about Wales, somebody had said that um, they'd been to Wales and they'd gone into a pub and they found um, the people were really unfriendly. And I said, well, what was true? I said, well, 
we've been to Wales many, many times and always found the people very welcoming. You must have gone to the wrong pub. <laughs> Cold and snowy. You're getting much snow there, because if you are, we're going to get it next, aren't we? They did forecast it for all this week, but we've only had like two days and not, you know, not a lot of it. Hi, Nessa. So if you all got a notification, it went on to that other one that was scheduled I couldn't get into the, I couldn't access the page for some reason. But one of my family had been on my computer this morning. So it may have been that. I don't know. Might just be me. I'm lovely and warm. Hello, Mike. How are you? Have you seen any more? False and Winnie Freds floating around recently. I hope not. I was thinking about that this morning, actually. Oh, is it cold for Arizona? Is it? Well, I checked the temperature just before I came on here, and it's zero. Just not not freezing, but it's zero. Oh, you haven't caught Laura's live. I don't think it's only Laura's stream, though, is it? Because a couple of people said they've seen the false Anne, the false T and Sass elsewhere. So I'm not sure where. Obviously, picking and choosing where they think I don't go. Hi, Squidgy. How are you, love? Squidgy, how long did your... Um, flu symptoms last because I know your family had it quite bad didn't you and still recovering two and minus two tonight yeah it's going to be below freezing tonight talking my phone Oh, excuse me a sec. My son, he says I was wrong when I said I thought I thought I was over the worst. Hopefully these new antibiotics will now work and I can ride it out with plenty of bed rest. I've seen the consultant, signed off work. I sent him a load of stuff over. Um, mental. Three weeks, Squidgy. It's been about 10 days. He's been ill now, but he never known him have time off work. Let me just reply quickly. I've been worried to death. I haven't been able to sleep or anything over it. Sorry. No, it's not Corona. It's um, a virus. It's, thanks, Cheryl, it's really warm. Yeah, they sometimes bother me, but 
with the weather, I really don't care. <laughs> um, it's a virus and I don't know whether it's a strain of the COVID virus, an offshoot of it, so to speak. But the hospital yesterday, they checked him over fully. His lungs are clear. Um, the only thing that, that's wrong is that um, he's, he's coughed up. He's coughed up an awful lot of phlegm and stuff. And, but it's just uh, his blood pressure is elevated. He's dehydrated. And um, he's still got the cough, a bad cough. That's terrible, Squidgy. It can't be a coincidence, can it? So many people. And my friend over the road who's got no family around her, um, I'm sure she'd have wronged if she'd have wanted anything. I hope she would anyway. But um, she was in bed all over Christmas as well. Yeah, the test, COVID test had been negative. Chest infection, yeah. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. And yeah, for everybody. Like I say, it makes you wonder whether all this, you know, our resistance to germs and the normal bacteria that are floating around has been compromised because we've been kept away from normal life for so long. Did he? Did he say it's everywhere at the minute? You know, I've got I've absolutely got no faith in what we thank you, Nessa. Thank you, my love. Yeah, I've he just said you shouldn't have sent all that stuff over. His partner's absolutely brilliant. And I thought, well, what can I do? I'm absolutely useless, and I'm his mum. So I just sent a load of stuff from Amazon, like menthol candles, menthol sweets, menthol chest drops. <laughs> I'll mention that honey honey syrup, yeah. You got the four, Mike. I had COVID and it lingered right from the very start till the very finish. It lingered for four weeks. Um I was shocked that I actually tested positive because I thought, well, I thought it was worse than this. That was the first couple of days. And then towards the end of the first week, I really did. It really did pull me down. No, uh, Susan, everybody has to do what they feel that they is right for them. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't either. No, nor me, Dan. We've got this, uh, my brother-in-law's funeral is not going to be till the 20th of February. But I'm thinking I'm going to advise my son just to stay as far away from people who are likely to be um, poorly or hanging about in the cold, you know, for funerals or anything like that. Just, you know. You won't get any hate in here anyway, Susan. Nobody's like that. Nobody. Oh, don't say that, gun to your head. You can't say things like that. <laughs> so I was going to put the telly on today and that we could watch a couple of things together. And then um, your fave dolly, Nessa, I missed something. Dana, I remember you saying, and I mentioned this to another member of my family this morning, I mentioned that. 
and you although they say you can't tie it in and you can't be definitive, you can make intelligent guesses about all these coincidences that are happening. For you, that's freezing, Cheryl. For us, that'd be lovely. Yeah, that's terrible, Dana. Terrible. Dana, you know my elf had dementia. That was the Lewy body dementia associated with Parkinson's disease. Unfortunately, um, he needed cochlear implants because his, his hearing had gone. And um, it was all to do with what was going on with the Parkinson's. The whole lot was combined. But um, what I wanted to do with him and what I sometimes did do is play music. Now, he couldn't really hear it, but if you've got your feet on a wooden floor and you play music, sometimes you can actually sense the beat of the music, the bit, you know, just the beat. Your husband, if, if he's hearing still good, playing music, playing music that takes him back, that you both used to like, um, or playing some new music that you think he will like. Um, 57, yeah, yeah, the vibrations. We do care, Dana. And I think any of us who have gone through anything, if it's relevant, then I think we should share it if we can help, you know, help each other. Yeah, that's that. Unfortunately, Alf, I said before why he went in the nursing home initially, it was when um, I was bathing him, got him out of the bath, he fell on me, and my back literally snapped. Um, my vertebrae went, so I had to go in hospital for that duration, those two weeks. Alf went into respite care. In the meantime, we were also moving house. So I could have, like, we could have the middle floor as our bedrooms, upstairs for a spare bedroom, downstairs for the cooking, etc. Um, so when we moved house, not long after I came out of hospital, I was carrying a box upstairs and stupidly fell and my back went again. So another two vertebrae went. Again, I was hospitalised. And I think all of that exacerbated what went on with Alf because he was removed from his normal environment, you know. Even though he saw family every day, he was still removed. Yeah. Alf, he had Parkinson's getting on for 30 years from the time he was diagnosed. Hi, Jem Jem. You're not late. I was late. I couldn't get into the other other scheduled st stream. I'm not going to blame anybody. <laughs> but uh, no, somebody else was on my computer this morning, but it was probably me. Did you, Mike? Dana. He was a wonderful man, wonderful. And Alf was much like his mom in certain ways. You would never hear Alfie's mom say anything bad against anybody, never. Um, and sometimes I loved it. I loved her so much. And sometimes I used to think, should I ask her opinion about this? Because she's not going to say anything negative. You know, she never would. So, um, Demelza, but she never would. And Alf was like that, although he'd always be honest with me. And he would discuss things with me and everything else, but he would, he never was overly criticized, critical of anybody. I'm doing all right, Jem Jem. Are you? I'm very warm. I 
I went to open um, an Amazon box this morning and um, I got, I've actually bought a new dress uh, for the summer, would you believe, because it was reduced to about £12 from 49 And um, anyway, slit the box open and what was there on top but the dress, the scissors actually sliced into the polythene. Why don't they put paper on top? Luckily, it didn't. Didn't. Yet it was a bargain. Wouldn't have been such a bargain if I'd have sliced into it. Oh, oh, gem, gem, these. This is going to come round the wrong way, isn't it? So I'll tell you what they are. They're trans tech, 70 micrograms an hour going into your body. And it's bup, ren, orphine. Boop, Ren, or oh. I know it was typed out for you yesterday because I spelt it wrong, but that's it anyway. And they're transdermal patches and you change them twice a week. Now, I started off on 35. It went up to 70 and now I have two 70s twice a week. And they work. And they work without aggravating your stomach or anything. So, Jim, Jim, yeah. Did you get my contact details as well? I've put them out for most, if you want to use them. I've put out um, a Gmail address and um, Twitter, have I put, I think. I can't get into my Instagram, but... I'll sort that out. I don't know what's going wrong with it. Yes, Dana, I will. I live near Sully Hall, and there's a my my favourite store in Sully Hall is John Lewis. Yes, Gem Gem, please do ask honestly. Well, they're on there, and I also Gem Gem, I also wrote the title of the book for you. The two books, one's eleven hours. One's two hours and 40, 14 minutes. Hello, Linda Lou, my darling. Yeah, I think it's under on Twitter. It, you might find it, instead of my name here, you might find it under Anne Kinsella, which is what my dad's name was, Parks. Anne Kinsella, K I N Marks. So you might find it there. Um, my Instagram account, my granddaughter sorted out for me, and I'd forgotten I'd got I'd got it, and she did it under a sort of alias. And I don't know why she did that now. But anyway, she's done it. And um, it come, you wouldn't even imagine it's me because it doesn't sound like me. It's not my name even. So I'm going to have to sort that out. And um, what's wrong, Mike? Are you feeling bad at the moment? After your jab, do you mean? On the community post, Gem Gem. Go into the community post from yesterday and you'll find it all there. And then when you contact me by email, I'll let you have my other email address, email address proper, and my telephone number. Even my cell phone number because you can text me. No, I wondered whether you'd seen it because you hadn't mentioned. Hi, Wendy Wu, you're not late. No, no, no. You're not running to a timetable. Through the looking glass, hello. Happy Saturday, my darling. Okay, Jim Jim. I can't believe how, when we all get on here together, how quickly the time goes. It just vanishes into thin air. And um, I like to keep the live streams fairly short. 
so as not to keep anybody for too long and not to talk about the same things over and over. Um, like I said earlier, I was going to put the telly on so we could watch something together. But what, should we do that in the week when we've got a quiet afternoon or something? Yeah, Jim, Jim. Wouldn't it be nice if you lived near me? You could have the room opposite mine. You could be, I could make you a bed up on the couch and we could shout to each other <laughs> and commiserate with each other. Yeah, let's do that. I wish you lived closer. But what I'm thinking is that all of this, it's getting really stale. Hi, Deb. It's getting really stale, isn't it, with Chantal? I know there's going to be stuff to talk about as she's going back to Canada and all the rest of it. But they are working together. They're working together, bringing in an awful lot of money. And I don't know who exactly is working together, but some of them are. And this is a scripted load of nonsense. And we've been taken for mugs. Um, that's why I don't watch her on her channel. There are a couple of channels where I trust the creator, where I will go and watch. Um, thanks for getting that, whoever it was. Um, yeah, Hungry Fat Chick. I like, I like her. I like Candy. Oh, Dana. <laughs> Oh, what a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to take that to Melza. So I make all the floor mopping and all the polishing just fly by, do I? Foodie B Day. I know who you are. Salamander, a lemon enchilada. Hello. Where have you been? We know who this is, don't we? NYC, hello, my adopted daughter. Foodie B day. We've missed you. Where have you been? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is, Gem Gem. Practicing your Arabic. Mafi Muscular. <laughs> Lana, hello, my love. Lana, don't say if you don't want to, but what, what do you do? I'm thinking of you as being a nurse. Are you a nurse? You all raise my spirits. You, I just, I, I've, you know, I've listened to other people's live streams on occasion. Matchy Munch, <laughs> Always food on your mind. Always food. Not long, Thomas. Not long. Mind you, some of them are for salad. Salad. <laughs> Munchkinala. Matchy Munchkinala. Ten minutes, yeah. Hi, Deb, Deb W. Your old foodie B day? No, your guests already ate them all. Now you've let out who you are now. Hi, Chantal. <laughs> we know who you are. I love it when you come in. You're so funny. You really are. I wasn't sure how to take you when you first came in, you know. But it didn't take me long. <laughs> You're so funny. I have you ever seen a haul like that? Um, like I said, if you if you're newly married, you know, I love playing house with Alf. Admittedly, I was very young, but I mean maybe, you know, I, I could have been forgiven for getting junk, but I actually taught myself to cook. Um, I did watch my mum, but I wanted to do better than my mum because my mum was an excellent cook, so I wanted to go on better. And um, I used to try out all different things for Alfie. Loved it, he did. 
Linda Lou, thank you. She's left me alone just lately, hasn't she? She's left me alone. It's just the other one now going around pretending she's me and making rude comments in other people's live streams. No, Mike, no. I, I believe what Allah said that Salah wants to get to Canada. She's his, he doesn't want to go back to Syria. He's going to, either going to be arrested or made to fight um, there. So he doesn't want to go back there. Apparently, he's got his own business. He wouldn't be allowed to own a business unless he's got um, a Kuwaiti citizen who owns 51% of that business. He, as a... Oh, Salah treats you well, b -day. That's lovely. Oh, does he touch you when you're naked? <laughs> he wears his boxing gloves. <laughs> Hi, Leo. <laughs> what, what, NYC, what do you mean? Cash app? I haven't got a cash app. You can do super chats, but I don't have a cash app. And one thing I won't do is have memberships either. I don't think that people should pay to talk to anybody. I don't. And I said I would never do that, and I wouldn't do it. Thanks, NYC. I think I'm going to call you Nick. Yeah, petted her with his gloves on. It's a pity the camel, camels didn't have their coats on when she went putting her greasy hands all over them. You know, I, I'm I'm not joking here when I say that um, it's all an act, Thomas. She's admitted that it is. She's admitted that she will humiliate herself if it's what's going to bring in the views and the money. And I'm sure that's what she tells her family, that it's all... All one big show. But unfortunately, that show is how she's living the majority of her life. What a waste. Oh, bye, Lana. Nobody makes their own breakfast. I do. I had porridge or oatmeal this morning. <laughs> A wedding tattoo, yes. Is your finger green? What you don't lose it. Gem Gem's wonderful. Oh, Nick. Oh, Maria. Oh, you are kind, my darling. Thank you. Now, even though you're my daughter, you've had to tell me your name. <laughs> I'm glad that you came in. I'm... You know, I'm happy to sort of stagger the times and whatever's best. And I was hoping today would be better for some. Leo, but who is it who said, I can't remember who it was now, I read it somewhere. And it's something that I don't entirely disagree with either. I think a few of them are in on this scripted soap opera. And some of them are making quite a lot of money off it, including Nada No Shame. And I think she's still creaming money off him. Don't forget, she gave him her channel. That channel was under her name. That's how it was monetized so quickly. She also sent him, he got 6,000 6, subscribers in no time, no time at all. And it was monetized within a week or two. He's also using the, the laptop that she bought him, the phone that she bought him. They're all in on it. <laughs> You're only as broke as the couch as the couch you break. Yeah, you've broke a few. You've broke two since you've been there. 
that ring is very tinny looking to me. It's, um, I don't like it. The first ring Alf bought me was that one. That one there. He chose the others. He knew I wanted a sapphire because it's worse, don't it? He chose that one. I chose that one rather. And um, we went together to buy it and it had, um, it was like in the gold, it was like little stars. You can still almost see some of them now. But look how lovely it is. It's just gone like thick burnished gold now. I love that ring. That's the only one I want on my finger when I pass all the others going to my kids and that granddaughter. But um, I'll only have that one on. Oh, it's morbid. Thank you, Leo. Would you believe that's the most, that was the most expensive one. That little tiny thing there. Because it's platinum and um, a top quality diamond. That was the most expensive ring. A cock ring. I don't want to ask you what that is. No, I know you don't like waste food. If you could have eaten it, you would have. Yeah, my, I think mine was something like £10 from H. Samuel um, in Birmingham City Centre when it was bought, the wedding ring. And that's the one that's going with me. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> yeah, platinum. I, I was actually shocked at the price of that, but... <laughs> do you nick maria i've got to, I've got to start calling you maria. do you want me to call you maria or do you want me to call you nick and call you maria in private i don't mind yeah uh, do you know the original eternity ring that alf bought me i cannot find it and I've searched and I've searched for it. I tried to get one that was like it, but I can't. So I think I'm just going to have to do without. But um, I don't know where it's gone. Call you whatever, Mother. No, I was just wondering. A platinum channel diamond channel. Do you mean Chanel? Mike. I don't mind Maria, Nick or Maria. I don't mind my love. I think I did it, Thomas. It wasn't particularly a, a proper review, but if you'd like me to do one, I will. I'll even sing it for you. Don't call you late for dinner. <laughs> I think she will show us. She'll probably sit right on the edge of one seat like this and say, look, I'm barely taking up a seat at all. I'd hate to sit, sit by her. I'd hate to sit on the same side of the plane, the aircraft. Hi, Rose. Seriously, Mike. Hi, Stephen. I know, no, it was her. Rose, I wear this as a coat dress because it's it's not thick enough to wear as a coat to go out. And if I go out, I'm likely to wear it and put my big cape thing over it. But in the house, it's like a coat dress. It's lovely. Oh, yeah, covering perfume. She has gained weight through the looking glass. You can see it. Do you know, there's one side of her face that I noticed in a video a couple of weeks ago, 
and it seemed that she'd got that lymphedema like um, Jen had, you know, how Jen's face sort of. Who's Victoria Corin Mitchell, Rose? I don't know that person. Shall I go and have a look, shall I, later on? Do you like it, Maria? I did wash it yesterday. I'm going to have to do something. It needs a proper... I'm going to have to get them shears out again. Need something doing with it. She's got a little wisp of hair, hasn't she, out, coming outside of her hijab? Thanks, Jim. Jim, you're a bit biased though, because you love me. <laughs> Hi, Antonia. How are you? Nice to see you. Foodie B day. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologise. You're going to sue me. <laughs> I'm sure the camera adds more than thirty pounds to each each leg. <laughs> oh, Audrey Hepburn, Leo. I was actually I was going to put a community post. I might do it later to ask because Stephen, she's lazy. Um, she's idle, and I'm guessing that tiny kitchen she doesn't have much room, <laughs> Gem Gem, much room to manoeuvre around tea and dust no she doesn't bother me none of them bother me no people can only bother you when they matter to you and none of them matter to me <laughs> yeah eyelids have her eyelids are It is. It's pathetic, isn't it? That's all they've got is age. And it does, as I say, it doesn't bother me, you know. If it amuses them, brings a little life to their otherwise drab lives, let them carry on. And to be honest, I'm critical. So why shouldn't she hit back? It's out of order hitting back at my family. Antonia, that's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you reckon, Mike? Yeah, I've been likened to Twiggy, but not in a favourable way because I was so skinny. <laughs> Baby picture of Dee Dee's. Are you off to Melza? Thank you for coming in if you are. It's been lovely. It is. It's so nice. It's, the time goes so quickly. I mean, I can come on here. And I was so worried about my son yesterday. I thought, shall I go on and just, you know, and I thought, no, that's not the reason to go on, is it, really? I watch some of these live streams that go on for three, four, sometimes five hours where the person will sh just... <laughs> Nearly got my words mixed up then. We'll just sit back and let the chat run um, without, you know, uh, being involved very much at all. Thank you through the looking glass. Isn't it nice, Gem Gem? It is lovely. Could be, could be. The other thing that probably annoys her, buy the mouse, darling, see you next one. The other thing, when she gets on about my age, you know, and I think to myself, well, she's probably not going to get the privilege to reach my age. She's certainly not going to get the privilege to have children and grandchildren, is she? Um, and that's just a, a statement of fact. Or to have experiences like I've had I mean for example skydiving can you imagine a skydiving I used to um 
do a few sh sh so did eight eight to ten parachute jumps and three skydives. Um, she'll never do anything like that. Isn't it nice, Maria, in here? It's so warm. Foodie B Day, I've got a, a bone to pick with you about that. Harry the hamster. You might be a grandmother to Harry's children if you get Harry a partner. But all that sand Salah picked up out the desert, it's going to be full of parasites and bugs. Not good for a hamster. Throw it out. Yeah, we have missed you, Maria. I did one, Squidgey, and never, ever again. If somebody paid me, offered to pay me £5,000, £10,000, never again, never. <laughs> you might be, yeah, you might be skydiving. I just did hope it's not through a great big hole in the um, in the floor. Yeah, good. Harry got more sense than her and her husband. Does she let him run loose? Miss Jew Maria. The bungee jump, let me tell you about this bungee jump I did. And it was in a car park. And it was in Leeds. Um, this bungee jump, um, I hadn't really watched them properly. And there was a couple of us, a couple of fellas from work and myself who were doing it. And um, I will. In, oh, you mean foodie bee foodie day? Can you elaborate on your mar temporary marriage? <laughs> I think it's a temporary marriage. Oh, gosh, I can't remember whereabouts in Leeds now. Um, it wasn't far from the railway station. I know that. Um, but I remember going up and you go up on like a crane thing and you and you're all sort of, you know, geared up to do it and what I didn't realize because I hadn't watched it properly and wasn't prepared for it properly if you like is that you you come down and then when you go back up you do really go back up and come down it's you're like a a human yo-yo it, it's frightening it made me ill um it's something you know that I I haven't relieved really like I relived the, the skydives. I did them at Long Marston, just outside Stratford. But the bungee jump, it, it, it made me ill. It was awful. So don't ever do one. I would never recommend it to anybody. Plus the strain and the stress that it puts on your bones. Imagine that. Because at least with skydiving, your body is cushioned. But with the bungee jump, it's not. You're just jolted down, jolted back, jolted down. Awful. Who, me, Linda Lou? <laughs> As a kebab. As a kebab. <laughs> Booty bee day. After eating Nada's food. And I bet when your husband touches you as well, I bet you get those fluttering feelings. <laughs> Where in all the world have I lived? Well, we've lived in um, mainly in Birmingham, really. Cornwall, temporarily down in St. Ives, just for a short time. Um, Saudi Arabia, which again was temporary for a two-year contract, but I was home, like, every couple of months, so I, I never classed that as living out there, really. Um, but even though that was temporary, I still made a little bit more of an effort with my apartment than 
food he does with hers, you know, put some pictures on the walls and stuff. Oh, Dana. Does he joke about it? That's good. That's good that he's got his sense of humour. And laugh with him. You know, laugh with it, but change the subject as soon as you can. <laughs> Thanks, Antonia. Is it Antonia or Antonis? Am I saying it wrong? Ooh, Jim Jim. Thank you. Antonis. R. Brownstein. Hi. Hello. Right. Thank you. I got it right now. Hi, Nikki. It's getting dark outside already. I used to wear contacts. I bet you get some snow, though, Squidge. I bet we get some as well over the weekend. Where are you, Leo? A bottle of wine that has two bottles worth in one. Do you mean a big bottle of wine? Yeah, they do. They make your eyes dry, don't they? Texas. Oh, yeah, Texas. So this is a pretty good time, isn't it, to do a live stream? Is it for everybody? <laughs> a massive bottle of wine. <laughs> You're going to drink it all. <laughs> oh, foodie B day, no. Um... I'm trying to think how I could advise you, but, you know, being sort of on my own now, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> 6.30 in Athens. I've always wanted to go to Athens. It does happen as a kebab. Hello, Nikki. Yeah, I'm glad you're here as well. Um, Jem Jem, was it you who told me about the Baileys that they were selling cheap in Asda? Because <laughs> it was harder than sandpaper. It gets salad, salad to put some. Put some cooking oil on it. <laughs> Bye through the looking glass. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. And see you next one, hopefully. Yeah, Bailey's is. Oh, was it you, Squid Jay? I'll tell you in a minute, Mike. Well, I got my three bottles and for the price that you said. And I haven't opened them yet. They're all downstairs. I'm saving it for a snowy day. Oh, Antonis, thank you very much. That's really kind. <laughs> That's a kebab. <laughs> Why don't you do um, a drag show and film it for us? We'll have... Um, a private live stream so that just us can watch you. That would be lovely. Yes, Happy New Year's, everybody. I guess I did say it. Will you? There you go. We're going to be in the retreat as the kebab is going to do. Put on a show especially for us. Just don't get char charging for tickets. <laughs> Blasted. <laughs> What a name. <laughs> oh, 
I saw some great drag, drag shows in Spain. And if you ask me what part of Spain it was, I don't know. But it was the part where they had a lot of drag shows on a lot of these really, you know, these men. You wouldn't even know that they're absolutely beautiful the way they were made up and everything, you know. Your drag name's Boyancy. <laughs> <laughs> Magic with hair fibers, asking for a friend. Hey, foodie by day, you ever thought of having um, what do they call them, dreadlocks or deadlocks? But she's got nothing to hang them on to us. Have you? <laughs> have you actually? You're welcome, Blaster. You're very welcome here. Yeah. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Dreadlocks. Right, well, she could have some dreadlocks, couldn't she? She could glue a wig to her head and have the dreadlocks attached to her wig, I suppose. Oh, that's it, Auntie. Auntie, Auntie. <laughs> As a kebab and foodie bee day are arguing, can somebody put a stop to it, please? I'm not saying they're one and the same person. <laughs> yeah, uh, Leo, I think that was, I think she was getting fed up of the hair fibres and I think it was a grasp for attention again. Um, foodie BD. Who's time foodie B day out? No. No. Put him back. Put her back. Foodie B day, I'm sorry. No, it just says foodie B day was timed out by Leo. No. I was only joking because I said, can somebody put a stop to it? No, I'm sorry. I was only joking. Oh, Leo, I'm sorry. I was joking. It's my sense of it. No, no. Sorry. Foodie B day. I'm sorry, my love. Hi, dark eyed Raquian. I'm fine. Thank you. Um, I think you can go back, Leo, and just undo it, can you? Oh, see, as a kebab is laughing now because Foodie B Day has had a smack on the wrists. Wrists. Foodie B Day, come back. Come back. We love you. All is forgiven. Nothing to forgive. <laughs> Not sunshine. Country chickens, hi. Yeah, they know that was accidentally. Oh. As a kebab, what have I done? <laughs> Look and laughing. You're one and the same person, aren't you? Jay. Hello, Jay. How are you? Jay Eli, is that? Yeah, probably, Jem Jem. I've got a feeling that As a kebab and Foodie B Day might be working together. Do you? As a kebab. You're laughing now because you cause trouble. <laughs> no, don't worry, Leo. <laughs> You've got no clue. <laughs> Surrendering your wrench to the great B day. No, don't worry. I'll get I'll give B. B day, come back and I will give you a wrench. Doesn't it show, though, how, um, you know, things can be sort of taken in a way differently to what you mean? <laughs> eh, what? Hello, you. Madam, I'm sorry I had to dash off the other night. I had something on in my oven and I wanted it. So I went to get it. You OK? Sharon, eh, what? Um, 
I've just mentioned in my community, last community post, I've put um, an, a Gmail address and um, Twitter info. That's all right, Leo, don't worry. Always better not to burn the kitchen down, that's right. I reckon that's why Chantal bought all those snacks. She doesn't want to burn the kitchen down. Dana, all of my grandparents, except for one grandmother, my maternal grandmother, she was from Spain. She went to Dublin, married my granddad. But all of my ancestors were Irish. My dad was born in Dublin. My mum was born in Tipperary. Um, ten brothers and sisters were built, born in Ireland. Yeah, ten. And then there's just me and my next oldest brother and youngest brother who were born in England. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you know it's like saying if a horse is born in a pigsty, does it make that horse a pig? <laughs> just words that's come out, you know. But so because I was born in England doesn't necessarily make me entirely English. So... I sort of go with Ireland, yeah. That's all where my my family, yeah. How are they, Dana? That's interesting. As a kebab, you like it in real life. And that's without a drink. You've got that wine to drink later. Hi, PPPP. Did you spell Jim's name wrong, did you? I haven't, Leo. My mum did. My mum did. Country chickens, you're part Scots, part Irish. My mum experienced um, discrimination a couple of occasions, I know. One notable occasion was after the Birmingham pub bombings, which, you know, it was terrible. And... Um, there was a man who lived with his parents in the street opposite my mum's and he lost a leg in the pub bombings in Birmingham and his girlfriend lost her life. And um, when my mum, because my mum never lost her accent ever, and when she went out to the greengrocers to get, you know, some food and that and there was a woman in there who heard my mum's accent and she actually spat in her face. And it was after that that my mum became agoraphobic. Yeah, dark hydroquium, yeah. This is my, it is a jacket, but it's not a thick jacket. So I, I wear it as a coat dress and it's, it's lovely. It's so cosy. Oh, you thought it, Jem Jem was Jen. That was awful. Yes, uh, feelings were running very, very high at that time. So you're from the southwest, Devon. Thank you, Sharon. I am. I can't stand the cold. Racism hits all colours. That's right. And that's what I said when people were trying to say about me. And, you know, it, it works for everybody. Thank you, Antonis. I haven't been discriminated against, Dana. No. But just, you know, my mum did. Yeah, my mum, I mean, she used to be very outgoing and out and about, but that really knocked her health. Are you under two fluffy blankets? Take me back to the Middle East. Well, if you're going to go back, wait till foodie leaves, if I were you. She compares Nada to Hitler, does she? 
I like being at home now, Nessa. The older I've got, the more I do. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, it was my mother. It was just after the Birmingham pub bombings. There was two pubs in, in Birmingham that were bombed and they blamed the IRA and they uh, arrested four men. And a couple of decades later, these men were, were had their convictions overturned. They weren't guilty. Um, but when my mum went out and the person in the shop recognised the Irish accent, um, she actually spat in my mum's face because she was Irish. Do you, Mike? You don't. Not outside, I bet you don't. Yeah, Leo. Um, well, Leo, I'm going to Ireland in June. If nothing changes, and I hope it won't between now and then. So I shall be there in June, going to Dublin and then to Tipperary. Um, and then maybe, if there's time, down to County Cork. As a kebab, <laughs> you snoodle to the shops. Yes, I am going to, Leo, I think, yeah. I can get dual citizenship, no problem. I don't know why I didn't do it before, to be honest. They say if your ankles are warm, your face and ankles are warm, and your wrists are warm, then the rest of your body will be warm. Have I got that right? I don't know. Are you going to Lebanon? How long for, Sharon? Mike can't stand shoes or socks. Are you sure you've got feet and not hoofs? Hooves. <laughs> yes, I would, Dana, absolutely. Hi, Zena. That's right, on running cold water, yeah, both ways. It's true. Well, I've heard it said it's true. Yeah, my sisters were squidgy, and my sisters, my sister in laws, and my sister, it's like that. Oh. Ten days. Keep in touch and let us know how you get on. Zena. Hi, my love. Arthritis is a nightmare, I know. Um, my sister-in-law used her hands used to be really cramped. Linda Lou, you never did. You got a time out. Who timed out, Linda Lou? I know um, by accident, Foodie B Day did. <laughs> Leo, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't meant. I, I, it wasn't me. I haven't put my fingers on it. Furry hugs. <laughs> what see you in 10 years then? <laughs> You're hoping to get some chain bracelets, metal bracelets. Can't get the mods as a kebab. No. Neuropathy in your feet and your hands. Fingerless gloves are nice, you know. I wear them sometimes. Linda Lou, I'm sure you didn't. I'm sure it was an accident. No. No. 
Who did that? Who timed Linda Lou out? Slap on the wrist. Are you drinking it with your friend, Azzy Kebab? I thought you were going to drink it all for yourself. <laughs> sure. 80 degrees. I used to love the heat. I used to lie out in it. But um, not so much nowadays. The bottle's all for you. So anyway, shall we um, sort of have a change up and have a few different videos? Because I'm, I'm getting fed up with the Chantal storyline. Oh, did you, Mike? Oh, Linda Lou, I'm sure you didn't do anything, my love. I'm sure it was just an accident. <laughs> no, I don't burn. Um, I've only ever burnt once, Leo. And believe me or not, that was when I was in Wales. It was in real, in Wales. And Alf and myself and the kids had gone and I'd got this always remember the dress, um, polka dot dress, sleeveless dress. And it wasn't even sunny, but it was the wind factor. And um, my arms were really burnt. No, I haven't watched Sister Wives. I don't think so. Yeah, I've seen £1,000 Sisters. Um, Tammy's engaged again, isn't she? That's right, Sharon, that's what I said. That it's going to be interesting when she leaves and see what's happened, you know, when she gets home. But um, my salad needs a passport. No, it's about the fifth or sixth, I think. My salad needs a passport. No, I haven't seen Sister Wives. Is that about polygamy? Tammy lost weight, yeah. And um, Amy did really well, didn't she? Got the family she wanted. Two lovely kids. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look at that. Has she gained it back, Amy? Has she? Wow. And Tammy's married. Oh, well, welcome. My salad. Are they both, both of the girls have turned their lives around, haven't they? Hungry fat chick. I like her. I did a video about her. Yesterday or the day before, um, she's saying now that she wants to start being a bit more sensible, not eating out so much or ordering in, I should say, and that she wants to get start getting healthier. Um, I hope she's, you know, I hope she's serious. Simply Sarah. Oh, she makes me nervous. I'm always thinking she's going to set a kitchen alight or something. <laughs> but she's... Um... <laughs> I think so, Zena, as well, yeah. No, haven't started reading about Harry. I just... I haven't felt in the mood. Did she every plastic gadget known to man or no? I made some bread last night. I made some soda bread. I only made one to see how it would turn out. So it turned out all right. So I'm going to make some more tomorrow. Yeah, I agree, Nessa. She is, she's, she's lovely. But um, and she's got children too, hasn't she? So she's got quite a lot to live for, really. 
I agree, Leo. You, you can't have it both ways, can you? It's silly. Silly. Anyway, I'm going to get off because I've been on for over an hour. I can't believe how quickly time goes. And um, I'll come on probably Monday. Might on Sunday, but definitely Monday. And maybe we'll get something on the telly and have a look at something together and see and see what we want to watch, what we're interested in watching next. Who did I just see? Did I just see Al Sola? Al Sala come in. Where's he gone? Al Sala Sultan. Or did my eyes deceive me? Playing us up. Thank you, Maria. Do you want me to write you a recipe out and I'll put it in? The community post. I'm glad you're here as well, Wendy, Nessa, Dana, Deb, Mike, Al Sultan, Simple Salah. <laughs> I know who that is. <laughs> pee 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 pee. It would be gone so fast, yeah. All right, I'll 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 write a recipe and put it in there for you. Thank you, Zena. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Squidgy and Tonis. Linda Lou. Thank you for being here. Sorry about that misunderstanding. I don't know what happened. Bye, Gem Gem. Take care of yourself. And look on the community post and you'll see. And remember as well to ask about these. Trans tech, transdermal patches. I'll write it out in the um, community post as well because I think they'll help you. I do. Yeah, I hope so, Salad. Bye, Sue. Yes, please do. Please do. I'm going to, I'm actually going to text him now, actually. Yes, do, Gem Gem. Much love, everybody. Bye, Maria. Bye, Gem. Speak to you all later. Check the community post. I'll do one later. Lots of love and thank you all for coming in. It's been great. Thank you.